Mike, check, check, check. Justin Hunt, it's all happening. Big, 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 big news on the Drake front. Incredible news on the Drake front. But before we get there, I want to thank everybody for supporting this channel, supporting this mission here by donating to the Cash App or to the Link Tree, or becoming members. 45 members. 45 members now. I really appreciate you guys, especially Patrick Dawson, Ben, Sin and Senna, Tim Conroy, Hannibal Thomas, James McCrory, Zero Sun, Zero Sun Game, Zero TSUA Game. No, Zero TSUN Game. That's fly. <laughs> that is fly. That's t shirt worth, worthy on its own. Uh, Andrew Francis, Lils, thank you, Lils, John Jones, Corey Welsh. I mean, you know, this is uh, it's it's this is incredible. Uh, a major thank you for helping to support this mission. I've been dropping more often. Uh, yesterday we dropped a video on Fifty Cent on why he supports Drake. Uh, you guys left incredible comments, uh, joining the discussion over there, and as well as uh, a video announcing Kamala Harris's running mate, Tim Walls, out of Minnesota. Seems highly capable to me. Now, uh, I've been adding different types of conversations to this channel I'm covering the election as as best as I can uh but give me feedback on all the all the stuff that you like or you don't like that's happening on this channel um also big news finally finally the Justin Hunt podcast is live on all podcast platforms big thank you to Zach over at Quarter Lab uh right now we have the best of the best conversations that have taken place on the history of this channel they're available on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, iHeart, wherever you go for podcasts, you can find the Justin Hunt podcast. Uh, so go over there, check it out and support it. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put a link in my bio for that kind of stuff too. Uh, but I really want to thank you guys. Now, on to the big Drake news. Drake yesterday surprised his fans, surprised the industry by dropping 100 gigs worth of content. A combination of music, videos, pictures throughout his storied rap career. Uh, he called it 100 gigs for your head top, and he revealed it on, an, on what used to be a private Instagram page. Uh, it's called Plot Twist. Plot Twist. The showman Drizzy ever is. And on this link, on the link that's here, it takes you to this page. As you can see, there is... As you can see here, it's just file after file. There's also three new songs. We'll check those out. But, you know, this is what he did. I, I think this is very shrewd, very shrewd. Uh, there's videos in here of him showing the creation of Hotline Bling. Apparently, Future, there was a thought about putting Future on that song. That song is named after a girl he used to hook up with, and he named her in his phone, Hotline Bling. Uh, this is a clip from Know Yourself. <laughs> you know how that should go. There was apparently a debate on whether or not that would get flagged on radio and on streaming services because should it also sounds really close to shit. So here's a video of 40 Drake, everybody in the studio. They're calling Morgan. They're calling over to, to see if there would be clearance issues with that song. Uh, but there's a lot of great stuff in here. If you're a Drake fan, tons of things to sift through. Um, and so Obviously, Drake has been in a situation I don't think we've seen Drake in before. We've had a number of tracks come out that didn't do the type of Drake numbers that we expected or that we're used to. Uh, we still have the allegation conversation running around and Not Like Us is still the number one song in the world. So to counteract that conversation, Drake dropped 100 gigs worth of, of media. This is it's really shrewd. It's a shrewd move. Very shrewd. Some of the early reactions, right? And then, of course, of course, there's the naysayers, right? Here's a, one of the ones I thought was really funny. Drake needs 100 gigs of songs to compete with Not Like Us. I mean, that narrative has been around, but that narrative is really embedded. That narrative is really embedded. The allegations narrative is really embedded. I don't think that's all the way wrong. Now, there's three songs that were released. One of them is called It's Up. It features Young Thug and 21 Savage. Uh, the song is, is it's pretty hard, I'll be honest. It's a hard track. Drake is rapping dope. He is talking about how Young Thug, he, he you know, did enough time in jail, free Young Thug, essentially. But there's a controversial, a few controversial bars from 21 Savage. I'll play a quick clip of them, and they'll bring it down. 
Oh rap cap, come out my mouth. Made a couple songs, thank you hot now. Hit his ass up, he thank you pot now. Bro, daddy like he got shot down. Made a couple songs, he thinks he's hot now. Hit, hit his ass up, he think he pot now. All right, 21 Savage says that. Now, clearly, that feels like a shot at Drake. I mean, excuse me, that clearly feels like a shot at Kendrick, Gray. Right? Clearly feels like a shot at Kendrick. I think I saw something last week about the intro broccoli joint on the Not Like Us video. Kendrick's wearing a hit him up hat. The Pac imagery is all around Kendrick all the time. Drake used Pac in the Taylor Made freestyle, and Kendrick never let him forget it in every track after that. <laughs> it really sounds like 21 Savage is taking shots at Kendrick. It really sounds like it. Really sounds like it. Now, you know, 21 Savage makes great songs. He's a really talented songwriter, but let's be frank, right? He's a pretty terrible rapper, right? I mean, Kendrick to 21 Savage is like Dr. Seuss to Shakespeare, okay? I don't think this is something that would get the ire of Kendrick's attention if this was uh, shots at Kendrick Lamar. Uh, but here's the lines again. It said, no rap cap come out my mouth, made a couple songs, think he hot now, hit his ass up, he think he pock now. I mean, one of the things that we've seen on the from Drake fans, the nation of Drizlong, they've been making this argument that Kendrick needed Drake to blow up, that Kendrick doesn't have, like, as if Kendrick doesn't have one of the most storied catalogs in hip-hop history. And so to me, that falls in line with that. There's a line later on the track where he goes, I moved to L.A., I'm a clipper. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's an L.A. reference in there. You know, it really does feel like these taking shots at Kendrick. Now, uh, perhaps, I think perhaps these songs were recorded before the beef started. But 21 Savage has been in Drake's corner the whole time. There's actually some cool stuff about the making of her loss with 21 Savage in the 100 gigs for your head top folder. Check it out if you missed it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really great fan service over there. But this really does look like he's dissing Kendrick. Now, apparently he isn't, right? Apparently he isn't. Here's a clip from Academics. Academics was talking to, uh, he's talking to 21 Savage's manager. And I, again, I, I, I want to also announce, uh, I talked to, talk to 21's uh, people. Actually, I talked to 21's manager. Shout out to Measy. Um, 21 is not dissing Kendrick, okay? It's not dissing Kendrick. Actually, actually, let me read what he's, uh, I think people are assuming because there's a line in there, hit his ass up, he think he pock now, not enough. That is not at Kendrick Lamar at all. I don't even read what my nigga Measy said. They got to clear this up quick. <laughs> They're trying to clear this up quick. Now, I don't know, man. I mean, honestly, even dropping this song in the environment we're in, to me, it's kind of a take it how you want to take it kind of thing. But academics are saying Measy, 21 Savages Managers, is out here saying it's not a Kendrick diss. I don't think that would go well for 21 Savage anyway. Measy was just like, <laughs> Beasy was like, yo, that is definitely by the way, this is 21 man's, right? He said, yo, that is definitely ain't no shot at Kendrick. And he literally said that shit would make no sense because Kendrick got more than a uh, one hit or whatever, or a couple songs. Like he got a I don't know. The the nation of Drizlong, they tell me Kendrick doesn't have anything that's not related to Drake. But that's the story behind that. So they say that's not a, a Drake, excuse me, they say that's not a Kendrick diss. I'll take him at their word. Justin Hunt is here, we saw it happening. Justin Hunt is here, we saw it happening. The mathematical breakdown of this mighty game of rap we in. It's bone thapping in. Systematical culture views us radical, we saw it happening. Shaking hands and dabbing it. Like through the lens of hip hop from trip hop to yes, yes, y'all, you don't stop, you don't, you don't stop. stop. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening. Justin Hunt is here, it's all happening. It's all happening, yes, it's all happening.